I think yield is a, is a, probably the most important because the more cotton you make, that's that's what we're after is running pounds through that gin. We get paid by the by the yield. Right. The the higher the yield and uh, the the grade's important, but you can make up for a lot of the price uh, with yield. Uh, if you make a thousand pounds of fifty three cent cotton, it's better than you know, 700 pounds of 57 cent cotton. And uh, Delta Pine is known for high yielding cotton and uh, that, you know, helps out on the profitability, makes more money per acre. How has cotton farming impact or influenced the communities that you live in? Uh, in our area, I think it is, it's a great big influence. I mean, this is a farming community and everything in this town is tied into the farm, uh, one way or the other. Uh, all the different jobs, what job you've got here, uh, is tied into farming. And even though we are a small community, you go over to Lubbock, which some people call that a small city or a small town. Uh, it's big to us, but uh, the farming is the backbone for Lubbock. And uh, a lot of the people don't realize that without farming, uh, the community will just fall apart because that is that is our backbone. Right. And when we buy anything we buy, um, we employ we help to employ other people, which like in our community probably the biggest employer is is the people would say the either the courthouse or the, the school. But if it wasn't for farmers having employees that have kids here, we wouldn't have people that needed to, to come to school here. Probably wouldn't have a school. Uh, same thing when we buy seed, you know, or whatever. Uh, when we buy stuff that keeps a business open, which employs people, they have kids. They, you know, so the school is the biggest employer. But the reason it works is because of agriculture. So. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>